and I will say that something really important I noticed that buying from the actual uni site and Aliexpress is different I've noticed that with a lot of people on YouTube a lot of the negative reviews come from the Aliexpress orders I ordered from unis.com is it unis.com I don't know the actual site hey guys I'm gonna go to my channel oh snap it's flow and today I'm coming to you guys with a new video let me tell you something I'm a student I don't got them coins to be spending like this honey let me go straight to the point the only reason why I bought this hair was because of the price and YouTube been hyping this hair up for a while now so I was like you know what let me trust these youtubers let me buy a little something something so um here it is here is my review i'm not gonna be like these other videos i'm gonna tell you yes or no should you buy the hair should you not buy the hair straight to the point but before i get into this follow me on all of my social medias comment like share and subscribe to my channel stay with the journey subscribe binge watch my shit yo a lot of y'all be binge watching my shit and i'm so happy be part of the squad be part of the good good like we always hype up in here or whatever if you're looking to save some coins, but you don't want your hair to be like really ratchet ass hair. You need as for you. If you don't care about the coins, okay, and you just want the best of the best of the best, Unis is not for you. So that being said, it's your choice. To sum it up, yes, you should buy this hair if you're looking to save some coins and not get really bad cheap ass weave. No, you shouldn't if you want the best of the best of the hair. Does that make sense? So if you got what you wanted, click out of this video. But if you want to know in depth, what I'm trying to tell you, if you want to know all of the tea, honey, all of the good and the bad, honey, you better keep on watching, okay? First thing I want to say about this hair is, Eunice has a lot of deals going on, like a lot of package deals, and pretty cheap. I paid about $200, but it's Canadian. So you Americans, y'all gonna pay like a hundred and something something I don't know it's affordable my pack was a frontal and three bundles I got a Malaysian body wave the waves are beautiful I am rocking a 16 inch frontal an 18 inch what am I rocking 20 a 20 a 22 and a 24 inch and I have a 16 inch frontal I got a frontal because of the hype basically I regret buying a frontal I don't play with my hair that much to be wearing frontals I should have never got the frontal I don't know what the fuck what was I thinking I played myself I should have just stuck with what I knew but it's cool. The hair came. It was fast, whatever. The hair didn't smell bad. Believe me, you would be surprised how bad hair can smell. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm just having a flashback. <laughs> Never again. Oh. I did have to bleach the knots and cut my own edges. I washed the hair. The pattern came back. I flat ironed the hair. The pattern came back. I mistreated the hair. The pattern came back. This is my second month with this hair. So I installed it and uninstalled it and reinstalled it. I like how thick the hair is. It is true to length. It really looks good. It doesn't look cheap. I'm talking to you guys like you my girls. I'm giving you all the tea, all the secrets. Now let's get into the cons. I got some shit to say. I got some shit to say. Usually I always go for a side part as you can see but now I was like you know what I'm gonna go for a middle why am I wearing it like this right now the frontal is balding let me show y'all look at this okay this is just a small bit it's balding here it's balding over here. like let me just hide this right here nobody needs to know it started balding like early fuck the frontal bitch I'm getting a closure I'm sorry I don't care for a frontal I'm not that adventurous it's just too much high maintenance when I got the hair there were split ends so like the first week or two my friend was like bitch you better cut the man's girl to me it wasn't a big deal like this weave wasn't really to stunt on bitches the number one thing that I hate about this hair that I despise that would actually be a deal breaker that I like if I wasn't broke right now I would throw you niece in the garbage for that let me not even say anything let me show you so today was a wash day for me and this is everything that came out today that's only today imagine every other day of the week let me tell you guys how i went to the store i went to the store it'll be 350 please by the way i love your nails oh my gosh thank you here you go you're welcome no problem <laughs> there's <laughs> it's a little hairy <laughs> i'm sorry 
yeah, this is what happened. I expect the hair to shed because, yo, it's not my real hair. Even real hair sheds, okay? I really just don't mind shedding. But this shedding, bitch... If you're somebody that really hates shedding, just don't fuck with this hair. Like, don't fuck with it. Um, I'm gonna still be shopping at Unis until you see me something. <laughs> until my bank account is right. <laughs> like, you, I'm gonna still be going there. <laughs> like, you get what you paid for. Oh my god, I forgot a big con. How could I forget about that? It's the one thing I complain about the most. This hair tangles a lot. It tangles less when I have... Yeah. Okay. I literally just detangled my whole head. Like the hair only tangles at the nape of the neck. I feel like this hair is best if you want to make wigs. So basically the cons are the shedding, the balding, and the tangleness. Is that even a word? Out of 10, I give this hair a seven because it's affordable. It takes heat really good. It's affordable. Did I mention it was affordable? It's affordable. It's like good enough. It's good enough, okay? I would probably suggest sealing your wefts. I feel like with this company, it's something that you should probably invest in. Uh, as for the balding, I don't know what to do, girl. My experience is not the same as everybody else's experience. So yeah. This review is over. I hope you understood what I was trying to, you know, throw at you. I hope you enjoyed it and see uh, which one is my good stuff.